Hello. In this short video, I want to talk about a relatively new piece of functionality here on my Mac where I can take the uh, output video from the OBS application and feed that as an input into another application. So the reason you might want to do this is that you might want to use something like Zoom and you want, might want to take a uh, the OBS output where you've set up all of your scenes uh, and feed that as the video to Zoom application rather than showing just your standard web camera output. Now, this is something that's been possible on Windows for quite a while, but it's only recently that the NDI Tools application uh, has been available on the Mac as well. And the one that I'm talking about is this uh, NDI Virtual Input here. So with that open on my Mac, if I go ahead and open it, the thing that confused me when I first started using it was that there's literally no user interface for it. All that you get is a small menu up at the top of your Mac. There's no user interface, there's no uh, forms, there's literally just a menu. And what this menu shows is any uh, NDI output that's available uh, to make as a virtual input to another application. Now, the reason that I've got two here is if I bring OBS into this window here, so the, N the OBS inception that's happening here is just a symptom of showing OBS within the OBS uh, video. But if I look at the tools menu here and I look at the NDI output settings, then you can see here that I've enabled both the main output and the preview output of OBS. The distinction there is uh, really if you're in studio mode. So the, the OBS preview will show you what you're manipulating on the left-hand side before it becomes uh, an actual part of the output uh, stream. So that's why there's two different ones there. But having enabled that, and having and running the NDI virtual input uh, application, if I select the one that I want, in this case, it's the OBS feed. If I open up another application such as Zoom, then within the settings of Zoom, if I open up the preferences of Zoom, I'll then be able to switch to the video tab and I'll have a new option, which is the NDI video. And that's the video that's now coming from OBS via the NDI virtual input in as a virtual camera input into Zoom. So if I had my normal camera, which is this is my normal camera feed, uh, which shows me in front of my green screen, but I can have, I can set up any scene that I wanted and feed that in as the virtual input into the Zoom application. And that's what uh, anyone that joins on a call with me will be able to see. Now it's incredibly useful to be able to do this, uh, but like I say, this is something that hasn't existed on a Mac until uh, this month. Now, the other thing that I was gonna say that's quite important is that uh, the concept of a virtual input doesn't work on all applications. So for example, this I've just done here, which is to take the uh, OBS output video and make it as an input into Zoom, doesn't currently work in something like Skype. Um, there's not, I haven't been able to find out why that is yet. I'm hoping that there'll be an update to Skype to make that possible. But as of right now, this setup that I'm using here will only work on certain applications. So your mileage may vary. But for me, Zoom is the main one that I use. So being able to take my OBS video output via the NDI uh, virtual input in, in as a virtual camera into Zoom is incredibly useful. So hopefully this has been useful to you. Um, it literally takes just a couple of minutes to set up. So uh, play with it, have fun. Uh, thank you very much.